Hi there, students. T total. A T totaler. T total is an adjective meaning that this person doesn't drink alcohol. So a T totaler is T total. Yep, they don't drink alcohol at all. There are many reasons not to drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol nowadays because it's not good for my health. But there are many religions as well that don't drink alcohol. Methodists, Muslims, Amish, Christian scientists, the Quakers and many, many more. Okay, so teetotal, somebody who abstains totally from alcohol. When I was a kid, I used to think this was T-E-A, total. So the only thing they drink is tea, but it's spelled T-double-E. Now, the origin, they suggest the origin comes from the Temperance Society of Preston in 1833 and somebody was giving a speech and I think they had a speech defect they stammered to stammer st -st 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 stammer and I think the phrase was out and out t -t 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 total forever and that's where the word teetotal may have come from Okay, the Temperance Society in the 19th century in the UK, they wanted to get people to sign the pledge, I promise not to drink alcohol of any type except for medicinal reasons. Um, and I think this, for medicinal reasons, still uh, is used sometimes today. So, my aunt says, this sherry is for medicinal reasons only, for example. So, teetotal, doesn't drink alcohol, abstains totally from alcohol, a non-drinker. So, you might ask about formality. I would say this is neutral formality. It fits very nice and very easily into a an informal conversation um i think in a more formal setting or in a very formal document i might use a non-drinker uh, or even more formally a person who abstains from alcohol but i think you might use the word teetotal in a semi-formal uh context okay so teetotal are somebody who doesn't drink, a teetotaler. Easy. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Teetotal. Teetotaler.